All right, let's loop back around to the front door as is <laughs> customary. Are you the only one that makes jumping noises? He's just like a weird ghost. Wait, I took a little bit of a break and immediately forgot how, how I got up here. Oh, there's a ladder. Gotcha. I was looking for like a stack of boxes. Anyway, blah, 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 joke, 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 as is customary. Haha. <laughs> I don't... Your names are Steve Dor and Mardis. These are weird names. What are they going for here? Oh, hello. I wonder what that fella did to get the board so wild at. Uh, not... Be... Not conform, mostly. That's a big one. Where are you? Ghost lady. Excuse me? Uh... <laughs> she's gone. He has a lot of sign- wow, he's really wanted. Gunnar McReed, Red, McRed, Mac Red, Mac Red, dead or alive. I'm a steel horse, he rides, he's wanted, dead or alive. For several counts of public intoxication, destruction of groundbreaker property, unpaid docking fees, and resisting arrest. These are not really important defenses. Contact Commandant Sunita if you have any information concerning McRed's whereabouts. Failure to report a tip may result in imprisonment and fine. Proof of kill required to collect a reward. <laughs> oh, wait, I gotta remember, though. Yeah. On paper, I'm like, okay, he's been drunk in public, he's maybe broken something, and he's, like, not been paying his fees, and he's resisted arrest. So he's, like, you know, he's a nuisance, but, like, wanted dead or alive is pretty fucking extreme. What the fuck? But then I remember the fact that, like, they call any, any form of death of a person destruction of property, so it's a little ambiguous what they mean by destruction of property. They might mean murder. Although I feel like the other messages mentioned murder before, didn't they? Why does he want dead or alive? I don't know, maybe we'll meet him at some point. I actually get to talk to him this time instead of just having to fight him on sight like the other ones because they were all just marauders in the public and I don't think I was able to do anything besides fight them. Are you a dealer in addition to being a wheeler? Identification, please. I don't think presenting the ID is going to work. Let's say, uh, hypothetically speaking, I don't have an ID. What happens then? Everybody's got an ID. Oh, let me guess. You, uh, left it in your other pants? <laughs> I hear that one a lot. Name's, uh, Steve Buckworthy. It's my first time here. You've got a ship, but you've never visited Groundbreaker. You must have just dusted off from one of those dirt side outposts. Sure did. And now we're in space. Well, welcome to Groundbreaker. I'm sorry to tell you this, but I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world, probably. How do I get this resolved? You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. Any idea why my ship was impounded? Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship? It doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. It's not exactly fucking complicated. Uh, I found it a little weird that our own companion is like, Oh good, oh good, our captain did something to rile up the board. It's like, yeah. Yeah, I destroyed the entire colony that you were living in, which was controlled by the board. Remember? Why are you acting like you don't know? Also, why aren't you like... Has he even talked... Actually, I'm trying to remember, like, has he mentioned that at all? Has, has he even reacted to that?
Great. I'll go talk to him and straighten this out. You take the starch out of him? Well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Sure. Wanda Dorset over in sickbay? Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Her shipment? Ah, a handful of Sam cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. Uh, everyone's just fucking retrofitting all of their Sam cleaning units to do whatever they want. Hawthorne was turning it into a weapon, soldier dude, and now they're making them for surgery. I get that, like, cleaning units probably have, like, sensors for, like, navigating an environment and so on, so that they can, you know, well, nav navigate an environment, like a Roomba, essentially. But probably more sophisticated. I still wouldn't expect them to be so precise they're ready for surgery. This sounds terrifying. Got it. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? I'm looking for someone named Gladys. The fence. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Make sure you bring an empty belly. Looking for a drink, any recommendations? Most places are on the promenade deck. Big door yonder, straight through security. There's a bar on the starboard side. I got a preference for the Lost Hope myself. Talk to Vera, she'll set you right. That kind of sounds like an entire bar themed around my backstory. Got it. You need anything else? You let me know. Don't want anyone saying Groundbreaker's not the most hospitable port in the colony. It's, it, it, they have hospitably tra fucking stranded me here while the whole place is getting ready to explode, it sure sounded like. Can I find a job around here? Maybe. Most of the shipping traffic in the system passes through Groundbreaker. Every couple of months, we even get a big interstellar freighter. Two biggest operations are the board. That is, Halcyon Holdings and Sublight Salvage. But there are independent operators around the promenade deck. Most of those jobs are going to take you off station, though. And that's not something I can do right now. Looking for something a little more local. Commandant Sanita might have a couple of folks she needs killed. Bad folks, I mean. Not, uh, not regular folks. She'll be at the security desk behind me. Chief Jun Lei might have an errand needs running. She's all tied up trying to fix our heat problem. You'll find her in engineering. No kidding? I'd love to get a look at this old girl's innards. I bet they're real twisty and weird. In a good way. How about something long-term? If you're thinking to make a career here, don't waste your time. Full-time jobs on Groundbreaker tend to be inherited, or go to a fellow crew member's kid. Keep it in the family, you know. How does Halcyon Holdings work, anyway? Are you pulling my leg? I just want to hear your take on it. it goes like this. Back on Earth, before the crossing, the powers that be were selling off stakes in distant star systems they thought had potential. A bunch of companies decided to throw in together and form the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, then buy up the rights to this here colony. That group's what we now call the Board. The Board runs most of the system, don't they? Yep. Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. Aside from us, there's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. Seems like every year the board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing bays. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. The independence is setting really questionable then. How does Groundbreaker fit into that? Groundbreaker was one of the original colony vessels to come over on the crossing. A few years before her sister ship, the Hope. Once everybody'd been de-thawed and dropped dirt side, the original crew of the Groundbreaker decided they rather liked the spacefaring life. I guess that was the start of our independent spirit. Now, here we are. So, there's actually a boardroom somewhere with this company heads in it? Sitting around, drinking whiskey and smoking cigars, yeah, probably. Can't say for sure, of course. Doubt I'll ever see the inside of it myself. Got it. Glad to help. I didn't think there were many independent operators in the system. 
relative to the board holdings? Not really. But there's a few with the means to go where they will. They aren't rich, but they aren't likely to look too close at your work history either. What do you know about Sublight Salvage? They strip the parts from derelict ships and abandoned outposts. There's some that say they make the derelicts and encourage folks to abandon their steads. Sublight gives me the creeps. I've known folks who went to work for them and just vanished. They're on the promenade run by a woman named Lilia Hagen. I'm only telling you so you know to avoid them. Where do you hear about Emerald Vale if you want to hear about people just vanishing? That's all I need to know about work. All right. That's most of the population of Emerald Vale is gone by now. Even before I arrived, that size of that, that cemetery. What can you tell me about Udom Bedford? He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. Not that he would, being a board man and all. He's our liaison. So there's tension between the Groundbreaker and the board. They can't abide an independent township, especially not one they gotta depend on. We're the first and last stop out of this colony. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments anytime we like, and that terrifies them. That, and if they own this place, they just straight up make more money. Outright. I'm glad it terrifies them, the bastards. Keep pushing them. It's a delicate balance, right? We could cancel their freighter's docking privileges in retaliation, but where'd that lead us? They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. The board wouldn't do that, would they? The board is necessary to provide order to the colony. They believe it's their prerogative to overrun you. But whether you allow that is up to you. It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we may do all right. So far, anyway. Thanks for the info. Sure thing. See you around. Be seeing you. I never actually gave him any ID. <laughs> he's kind of, he's like, I guess it's just based on the entire, on the ship. Oh, right. The ship's probably flagged for Alex's behavior, not mine. That's why everyone's acting slightly weird about it. I suppose. The board wouldn't do that, would they? Did you see what they did to everybody in your life ever? Unless you're here to file an incident report or to inquire about the bounty posting, I must kindly ask you to clear out. The Mardet's offices aren't for leisure time nor loitering. I'm interested in that Mech Red bounty. Where can I find him? Last tip we got pointed toward the back bays. You want the reward? Do the legwork. Why don't you just send a Marta to apprehend him? Oh, I will. Soon as the chief approves the personnel reorg required for a bounty dispatch. So, in about three to seven weeks. Oh, you sound exhausted, don't you? I'll take the posting. You and about six other enterprising mavericks. It's only a matter of time before someone brings me McRed's head. Or his lucky lighter, as proof of kill. I do hope you're the lucky hunter, though. Good luck and skip speed to you. Ah, there's a n piece of nuance here. His lighter is proof of his kill. Maybe you do get to talk to this guy then. Maybe even side with him. And then he convince him to give you the lighter and then he can pretend I got him. Couldn't help but notice the bounty posting on Phineas Wells. The outlaw scientist fella, right. The board's had it out for him for ages. If you have an inkling of the where's or what for's of his location, Udon Bedford would surely like to hear it. 
Is this Wells fellow a famous criminal or something? To the board, yeah. You've read his wanted poster. Whole list of things to get their unders in a wad. But he's never done nothing to Groundbreaker, so I've no problem with him. We keep the poster up to keep the peace is all. What bounties do you have available? Still waiting to hear back on that bounty for McRed. That aside, not much else. Groundbreaker's keeping calm at the moment. So what's it like, working security detail on a space station? Do I look like your gossipy best friend? While I'm on post, I take my duties real serious. I would have no qualms whatsoever escorting you to a cell. Understand? That is not an emotionally, uh... <laughs> That's not an emotionally balanced response to that question. <laughs> oh, all right, just trying to make conversation. I'm not here for a chat. Now get moving before I see you moved. You and I both know everyone's just fucking standing around right now and nothing is happening. But sure, let's pretend you're busy. What's a Marta? We're the security force here on Groundbreaker. Started back before the crossing, you know. Why Mardit, not guard or officer? The original force was made up of a Marine detachment from the 77th Marine Expeditionary Unit, Trailward Fleet. Folks started calling us Mardets because it was easier to say. Guess it stuck. Marine Detachment Mardet. Okay. I'll be on my way. Whoa! How did you get in there? <laughs> Parvati, calm down. What are you doing? Half the time you talk to me, you're not even around, and now you're just teleporting behind counters into rooms. Can I even get in there? Or did you just, like, do some hacking shit? Yeah, when I first saw that name, I just I just saw it over, floating over, yeah, over a lady's head. I just thought her name was Marta. <laughs> Hi there. Haven't seen you around before. What can Groundbreaker Security do for you today? Just getting my bearings. What do you do here? This is the security desk, sir. If you're here to report a crime, you'll want to talk to Commandant Sonita. I'm not authorized to take incident reports anymore. Anymore? Anymore? What did you do? You, you sounded so sad. Why can't you take incident reports? I'm not so good at filing. Mix up first name and surname one, two, seven times. Well, folks are liable to start taking your filing privileges away. Oh, is he dyslexic? He sounds so sad about it. Folks are liable to take him away. Do you, I don't know, do tours or something? We can't just let anyone walk in here. I wouldn't be, uh, well, that's not, uh, we just don't. And how the f Maybe if you clear an open bounty and get in good with Commandant Sunita, or help Chief Tennyson fix this heat, that might warrant a thank you tour or something. Parvati, how did you do that? Teach me your secrets. We're friends, right, Lee? Do me a favor and I'll owe you one. All right, I, I guess. In and out, though. Just try not to do any shady stuff. I'd like to keep my job. Wow, I've talked to this person for three seconds, but I guess I'm just so goddamn beautiful that it's all it takes. Where did I- You're like a jump scare creature. Is this like a Sherlock Holmes game? What can Groundbreaker Security do for you today? Chief Tennyson? Chief Junlei Tennyson. She runs the ship. Does a real great job of it, too. Her family's worked on it for, gosh, since it was built, I think. Back before the crossing. What's she like? I is she a good boss? Good as she can be, I guess. What with all the troubles Groundbreaker's facing. She could stand to lighten up, I suppose. But she tries her best to do right by folks, and that's what matters. Why do you want to know that, Pravati? No reason. 
Don't you trouble yourself over it, Captain. That was very convincing, miss. I think your captain almost bought it. Leading a ship the size of the Groundbreaker must be a challenge. Sure is, but she makes it look easy. She's real competent, our chief, even if she ain't real friendly. I could use some work, any pointers? Chief Tennyson don't generally hire outsiders for station jobs, but you could try asking at Sublight Salvage. They got an office on the far end of the promenade deck. Ah. Anything else I can help you with, mister? The apparently sketchy people. What can you tell me about Sublight Salvage? They're run by Miss Hagen. Half the tramp captains and contractors in the system have worked for her. I ought to warn you straight off. Scuttlebutt says some of the jobs they do aren't exactly above board. Downright anti-business, if you catch my meaning. I'll need you to explain that. Let's say there's been times when I heard somebody needed a thing, and somebody else had such a thing, but they weren't inclined to sell. Now let's say the one who had the thing suddenly found theirs missing, and the one who needed got one. If anyone asks, Sublight says it got salvaged from an old wreck. Case closed. So they're criminals, but they have an office on your promenade deck. If anybody could prove them criminals, the board would have put their foot down a long time past. They always got, uh, what do they call it? Deniability? Something gets nicked or someone turns up dead. Sublight says, hey, independent contractor, not our responsibility. But everyone knows what they're doing, top to bottom. They're working against the Halcyon board? Against is a strong word. Let's say that if you need something the board ain't inclined to sell, you might look to Sublight to get it. You might pay Sublight a shitload of bits for it, but that money gets passed on to their contractors, so in the end, it's still business. You must admit, there is a beauty to the order of it. Everything operates within the constraints of the grand plan, even organized crime. People do what they gotta to get by. Do you just like, rev did you refer to the hand of, the invisible hand of the market's influence on organized crime as being like a theological occurrence? All right, that's enough. Oh, sure, sure, sorry. Gets a mite boring at this desk, you know. Then I get to chatting too much, and Commandant Sunia's gotta reprimand me again, and... Oops! Doing it again. Sorry. Oh, don't worry. Captain's real understanding. Can't speak for the captain, but I'm used to listening to folks drone on about their pointless, depressing lives. Awful generous of you, listening to me like this. What a smug bastard. <laughs> Uh, how soon do I get a third person? <laughs> I'll take the robot. Especially if it talks like HK-47. Mind if I ask you some questions? That's what I'm here for, sir. I bet you've got C's contraband from all over the system locked up back there. Sure, and stuff from outside the system too, off the uh, interstellar freighters. That's why we also have so many armed Mardettes on duty here. What if some of that contraband's mine and I'm here to claim it? That'd be awful weird. On account of you should be locked up back here too then. <laughs> anyway. All right. A lot of freighters come to this station? Must keep you busy. Less than there used to be. Fewer freighters passing through these days. I spend some shifts just listening to the wireless. Why aren't as many freighters coming through? Search me. I mean, don't search me, because that's my job. <laughs> Get it? Uh, I reckon you'd have to ask the folks in Byzantium. Is this what happens to somebody when they have to sit next to that lady all day? Less than there used to be. Heard anything good over the comms? There's been a whole heap of good advertisements lately. Sometimes I tune in just for those. Yeah, I'll repeat the previous comment from a few episodes ago where 
the uh, the structure of conversations is slightly weird. Like, you'll say something, and then they'll say a bunch of things, and then you'll have, like, a bunch of things you'd want to say back to them. But then when you say one of those things, it kicks you to a completely different piece of the conversation. Which, like, if they want to limit how many choices you can make and then cut that off, and then it's like, like, that's fine. Like, there are conversation systems that do that in games. But they're not limiting you. You just have to go back into that menu again by clicking the same question again, then going to ask the question that they weirdly cut you off from asking because they sometimes let you slowly work down your list of all the different responses and sometimes there's a bunch of different responses but they kick you out of that menu after picking one of them but then you can go back in anyway which would be one thing if it was like, like there's different kinds of responses right like sometimes it's like oh you're making a, a choice in the story and that's like a that's a binary thing you only pick one period sure that makes perfect sense then there's other times where it's like someone says something and you get to have like a judgment of some kind or response and like the particular response you pick colors who you are as a character and doesn't really make sense to then go back and pick all the other responses where you give a variety of different opinions that doesn't make sense either but sometimes people just kind of give you a bunch of different things you'd want to ask about and then the game gives you a bunch of questions you can ask that are just your chance to like latch on to all the different things the person said and kind of discuss those things and Sometimes when that happens, this game puts you back in that menu over and over again so you can keep asking all the next things, but other times they kick you out and you just have to remember that there was another dialogue choice, then go back and ask the same question again, then pick the other thing that's a follow-up on the thing they said. And that's just a weird structure. That's not normally how most conversations work, especially since the they label said dialogue choice as being already picked, so you're increasing the chance that people won't get to even no, there was more dialogue to be had. It's just slightly weird. See you around. It was really trippy when you got back there. <laughs> I guess I'm just allowed back there now. This just... is it. Yeah. I can check the departures registry to find out which crew cha I mean, the scholar shipped in and out with. Wasteland, you were hearing things. No, seriously. There was a lot of static at first, but then this voice said his name was Graham? Graham, right. Broadcasting on a dead world full of monsters. Now I've heard everything. You know, it takes more muscles to frown than to smile. Huh? <laughs> Who told you that? Graham? Asshole. Is that what he said too though? No, you said, you said Cha. Somebody named C-H-A. That's like, that's been multiple times now he's referred to some character whose name starts with C-H-A, I think. Because I think he cut himself off before when he almost said their name. But then was like, huh, din, 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 don't reveal that. Hi. Anyone care that I'm back here? I don't know, he went and gave me permission. Aw, oh, there's no interesting prisoners to talk to, that's disappointing. The drive and I'll do the rest. Anybody to come back here? Okay. See you guys. Just don't want witnesses right now. Confiscated goods. Detaining a freelancer who was KG about his business, confiscated his personal belongings while he while he waited for questioning. Modified pistol, jock. Hatchet, metal hoop, large, prayer beads, OSI, locked container, owner refused inspection. He fled before we could get down to it, left his things behind, so they're stored in the back of the security station until the idiot shows his face again, which is likely to be never. Hmm. Security logs. Mardit docking security terminal sublight put uh put a bid on one of the of our impounds generous one too negotiate for the usual finder's fee and then give lilia her salvage brawl at the lost hope freelancers versus board freelancers one arrested a freighter captain with more bits than brains hawthorne's ship impounded by order of udom bedford still no clue why hawthorne associates with the, that board's snake Ship was impounded by Udon Bedford. No what? No clue why Hawthorne associates with the board. Hmm. Would not associating with the board still result in not being impounded? Do they not? 
I think they just have no, they might have any, not have any idea that I did what I did. And that I'm, and that I'm the person on the Hawthorne ship. Which is probably for the best. The fact that I'm going around assuming somebody else's identity whenever I travel is probably one of the only ways I can get away with doing all the things that I'm potentially going to do in this game and have already done that are against the interest of the board that would kind of give my protagonist some really negative uh, reputation which would lead to some a lot of, a lot of response action if it wasn't for the chat the fact that my ship is uh, identified as being somebody else's. A guy from the back bay has roughed up the moon kid, raving mad. Warned me that the moon was going to bring about the end times. He's flying high on whatever McRed grows down there. Got a sworn testimony that McRed was spotted at the rest and go. Not that anyone will corroborate it. Remind me to keep an eye on Gladys. Hmm. Go ahead and eject that cartridge. We'll see what he can do with that. Now that we have the data cartridge, I can what? finally find out where that scholar I ended up. He's awkwardly saying that out loud in front of all the people that uh would not be happy we just did that. NPCs have an interesting interaction. That's just a random Mardit. Another Mardit. Impact Hammer. Alright, so this is just their equipment. Not really contraband. Nothing particularly interesting going on here. You guys don't have security cameras or anything, right? You found an ID cartridge to use with a holographic shroud. You'll now be able to auto be automatically disguised when entering associate restricted areas. That's useful. Here, I just got a, a, a permission. <laughs> the old-fashioned way. Some sort of crazy person. A plasma rifle? What? Hello, Mardit. <laughs> oh, spooky. Oh, there's the door from earlier. Huh. Why was the hoop contraband? Gross. It's a quest item. Hours of entertainment for the, for the easily entertained. I can now pretend to be a Mardit. That'll be useful throughout this whole place, probably, at times. Uh, officially sanctioned prayer beads. Great. Alright, Max, let's get out of here and we can discuss this. It's gonna feel weird if I talk about it here. She, she, she was so short with me, and even aggressive with me, but didn't have anything to say about him just letting me in. And so I did. Let's leave earshot of the Mardit here. The Mardits, just because it feels weird to talk about it here. There we go. Got it. His name is Reginald Cheney, and he joined a sublight salvage crew. Only he's not listed on the return manifest. Must have made landfall somewhere he wasn't supposed to. Ah, oh, yes. Here. There's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook, rented to the same bitcart he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. I should have guessed. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? Uh, gotta get that perception skill up. <laughs> this all seems awfully convenient. I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you've spent as many hours as I have in contemplation of the universe's secrets, you sometimes get a sense for these things. 
It's a good cover for all the not telling me the truth he's doing. Sounds good. Let's go. Not now, though. We're gonna explore this entire place first. Also, we can't leave. So, that. But yeah, eventually we get to Monarch. The Freedom Planet or whatever. And see what's fucked up about them, because there's always something fucked up, otherwise there wouldn't be much of a narrative to have around. Hello. Marditz. Marditz as far as the eye can see. I'm good at platforming. What? Darling. So that's the dodge I've heard about. <laughs> Feels complete. Okay. I've tried to do the dodge because it always says spacebar times two on top of the screen. So I'd like walk forward and double spacebar and I'm like, why isn't it working? Why isn't it working? Ah. Oh, the little man next to the spacebar times two empties and refills. Yeah, you just specifically can't do it forward. You can only do it when you're moving in a different direction. Gotcha. That's why it's never worked. Which of these two doors want, do I want to try? Got one more hour before the doctor. How many beers can I down, do you think? Even the air costs money here. I'm just in port long enough to get another hall contract. How do they charge you money for air? Do you mean when you're refilling your ship with air? Although you'd think that'd be like scrubbers for it. I mean, in some places you have to, they charge you for air at gas stations, although it's usually considered to be a uh, public service thing that everyone has access to. Oh, that's just, that's barred. Not getting through that door. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. The board would like to remind spacers and other travelers that passage to Monarch is restricted for your protection. Canyons of acid and sulfur rain are the least of the horrors plaguing the surface of Monarch. Anarchists live as one with the animals, lawless, savage, and unemployed. The board's embargo ensures that nothing can leave the planet and threaten our hard-working citizens. This story brought to you by Halcyon News. All the news that's fit to broadcast. Le Gasp. Anarchy. I wonder if this game's gonna... Yeah, given the other stuff they've been going into, I wonder if they're gonna actually give, like, any kind of laydown of what anarchy actually means. Because a lot of people vaguely associate it with, like, concepts of, like, punk rock and riots or whatever, and violence and Mad Max or whatever, and it's like, eh. Politically, the concept of anarchy is the idea of having a uh, hierarchy that's flat. So basically not a hierarchy, essentially. Like, it's, it's, a, it's supposed to be a community-driven government system where everyone kind of has equal rights and there isn't necessarily a direct leader and so on. Which is definitely a radically different system, so it's hard to picture at times, but it's definitely, like, also completely at odds with what people think it means, usually. Which is why people get confused when they hear, like, socialist anarchist or something like that they get really confused by the words being put together because it makes well a lot of people actually don't know what either of those words mean so it gets really messy because <laughs> they have um, they have a warped idea of what both of those words mean and so when they get those two warped ideas mixed together they're, they get, they're very confused about what you're even saying at that point halcyon news Media circus surrounds circus time clowns. The politics of Tosball have grown increasingly turbulent of late, with the circus time clowns trading out every single member of the team. Asked to comment on the upheaval, Owners League released a, a statement saying that the clowns' failure to reach the finals was a deciding factor in their organizational rearrangement. When questioned about the values of this overhauled team, a representative from the clowns stated that their goals remained the same as ever. Toss. Ball, win, repeat. 
Not that much winning, though, is there? I I always wondered, like, does one if that if that kind of thing happens, does like do, do the fans even survive? Like, if you're a fan of a team over years, I guess you already have to do with like the ship of Theseus concept as like. Because people are only in their peak years of being an athlete for only a few years, so if you watch a team for a while, all those people are gonna get switched out with different people over time. But like, there's a continuity to it where it's like it's like Walking Dead, where like from the beginning of it to the end of it, even if you have a completely different cast by the end, there was like a turnover period over time. There's a transitionary nature to it all, a continuity to it. But if you just like cut it off all in one go and just get rid of every single player all at once and replace them with completely different players all at once, like how do you, how do you like still care about like this? Like, yeah, this is the team I was rooting for last year. Totally. Even though a team is made up of players and this features zero of the players that were here last year. So it's fundamentally not the same team. It's like, I don't know, some guy behind the scenes that does management that you don't know or care about potentially, I guess is the continuity. I wonder if that if there's been instances of that kind of thing, because it seems like it's, it's completely within the power of a team to do that, that it probably has happened somewhere. Chairman salutes Earth Minister Clark. Chairman Rockwell took time out of his busy schedule today to talk to us about Minister Clark and his impact on the colony. Working with Minister Clark has been truly wonderful these past eight years, he said. His predecessor did a fine job, but Clark's brilliance cannot be overstated. The early retirement program is just the latest in a long line of initiatives that has spearheaded that he has spearheaded that it will ensure Halcyon continues to be the envy of all the outer colonies. We couldn't agree more, Mr. Chairman. If Halcyon is the fucking envy of anybody, then all of the other outer colonies are fucked. Which, uh, I mean, sequel fodder, I guess, right? If they want to make an Outer Worlds 2, then... They benefit from all the other worlds also being shitty places to live. What's up? I'm not supposed to be here. Help. How do I get back out? Where have I landed? I don't want to be here, but I can't leave. This isn't fair. This is I didn't mean to. <laughs> I'm just gonna retcon that one. That's 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 just silly. <laughs> I didn't know where I was getting into, and I definitely didn't think it'd be a weird point of no return. I couldn't escape. Where I'm like, surprise! You're fucking, you're high, you're important in a major way. You're currently trespassing in a way that will result in death. But we, we can't just go back. Do you was... have what it takes to defend your corporate township from the dangers of alien wildlife and the unemployed? Talk to your local manager about applying for military training and lend your life to protecting our wonderful brands and products. Military service does not guarantee full employment rights, tax breaks, military discount, health benefits, military burial, participation medal, training, or weapon. You don't even get a weapon. You've been listening to Halcyon News, your mandated duty as a good citizen of Halcyon. Ah uh, yes, the most terrifying things in the world. Super mutants and the jobless. <gasps> Would you please train to fight them? But if you do, uh, you will not be trained. Uh, we won't pay for your burial. And we also won't pay for your weapon. And, or your hospital bills. But you know, fight for us. Because you're bored, I guess. Whoa. Try not to be distracted by the glare of the adverts. Lots of unsavory types about. I'm in. <laughs> Rizzo's Spectrum. Stogi Slim. Stogi Slim tile. Rizzo. A lot of Rizzo's. CNP. Hello. Kind of fucky looking holograms, though. Like, the shimmer is pretty distracting. You could just have a sign. What's wrong with the good old Spacer's Choice? Even that sign is fucked up, though. Spaces. Coice. Yes, my favorite. 
an ad drone. Purpleberry fudge, a soft, sour candy shell around a sweet purpleberry flavored center. Suck it, chew it, you can do it. <laughs> You know, I was, I heard, I heard sweets, and I was like, you know what, that might be good. But then you're like, suck it, chew it, you can do it. I'm sorry, is it so hard to eat, I need encouragement? Because now I'm concerned. Rizzo's Purple Berry Crunch, Triple Gale Flakes, and Purple Berry Flavored Power Nuggets. Now with 12% more crunch. How do you measure crunch? When might we expect to come here again? Canned surfish is already sold out again. Who knows? Halls are scarce. Back in Triangulum, there were hundreds of space hands idle. I heard piracy was up some around Halcyon, but I didn't think it was that bad. I heard there's been a rash of conveyor losses on all routes. Conveyor losses. Is that people actually having conveyor belt related accents or are you talking about the like conveyor as in like the concept of shipping and transferring and so on so like people who the kind of people who ship stuff around are the ones that are getting lost they're being taken out by I suppose the uh piracy and violence and I'm curious about this place because it's the place all right well that's gross looking are those maggots what are those they're all segmented looking they're weird. This is the place that I thought might be named after- Oh yeah, it's even a ship. I'm sorry, is this actually named after the lost ship that totally still exists? I'm about to blow your mind. This is Halcyon Zoo. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Tossball finals are scheduled to air soon, but a scandal has rocked the league and thrown this pivotal game into question. Both teams have tested negative for performance-enhancing stems. A toss ball first. Coaches and referees are debating how and if this behavior could lead to an unfair advantage. This story brought to you by Halcyon News. All the news that's fit to broadcast. So it's so normal for them to use performance enhancing stims because they're probably sponsored and so on that having them test negative is something that they're freaking out about. How could this happen? Surely this is like illegal or something, right? We've got to stop this behavior. I'm just in port long enough to get another haul contract. Yeah, I've done work for Sublight. Need to pay the bill somehow. Nope. Whoa. Doing a little twirl for me, huh? Is this a darts game? Yep. Oh. Okay, well that's spooky. The way the sun does that. Also, are you not supposed to get a bullseye in this version of the game? What's up? Why is there like a metal thing blocking the most desired part of the board? Or is this just not how this game works? I have questions once again. Lots of open panels around here. Is, is that supposed to help with the ventilation because of the meltdown or something? Is that intentional? Lots of Steve doors. Server. And there you are. Seeking relief from the heat? Till June Lei gets those radiators fixed, I've got the next best thing. I don't know. I don't suppose you know a way to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. Stellar Bay proper? Mm, tough to say. The board recalled all the nav keys about 10 years back when the corpse pulled back to Terra 2. You know why? It's overrun with beasts, I heard. Big ones. Kind of chew your face off for fun. Might all be board propaganda, though. If you're aiming to get to Stellar Bay, you're gonna have to get your hands dirty. The board don't like them that truck with Monarch. But I ain't the one you ought to be asking. Try Gladys on the promenade. She'll fix you up. All the traders in the system come through here. Heard anything interesting? 
Some big shot down in Byzantium is holding auditions for a new adventure serial. So yay, another six of those next season. What's this heat issue I hear people complaining about? The radiators, they're fucked 10 ways to Sunday. And we're all sweating buckets wondering when the powers that be are gonna get around to fixing it. Sounds like you might have an issue with your thermal control system. Couldn't say, and I wouldn't be pouring drinks professionally if I could. All I know is we're cooking in our own juices here and it's only gonna get worse. What do you need radiators for? They're supposed to gather up all the heat the systems generate and vent it into space. Instead of the heat going where it ought, though, it seems to be blowing straight down the promenade. How long has it been like this? Weeks? I lost track. Too la damn long. Too la damn long. Who's in charge of fixing it? Engineering. Chief Junlei Tennyson, to be precise. She runs this heap, best she can anyway. Don't know what's got her dragging her heels, but I wish she'd hurry it up. Maybe I can do something about that. That's not for me to say, but if you're feeling the urge toward helpfulness, you can find Chief Junlei in engineering. What do you know about Chief Junlei? There's nobody who knows more about the station's guts. Any system you could name, June's crawled around inside and made it better. She doesn't come around here often, though. Don't see her as much of a drinker. Too straight lace for that. Let's see what you got for trade. What ain't I got? Probably don't care that much. Yeah, it's lots of boozies and stuff. Zero G costs. Wow, that guy's trying to scrounge enough money for a zero G together. I could afford like a hundred of them or something. A lot. Definitely a lot. I don't have a lot to do right now. I haven't exactly been getting in fights. And they stock pretty much what you'd expect around here. I try and keep the place clean in case Chief Tennis... Hey there. What are you doing after work? Going back to the old cubicle to watch the latest episode of my serial. What's a nice boy like you watch? Something exciting? Romantic? Bacon with Edna? I like documentary serials. Truth is better than fiction. Right now, I'm watching The Cannibals of Monarch. Oh. The Cannibals of Monarch. A documentary series. I'm sure it's a documentary series, not a propaganda series. But how they need to specifically spell the people who believe in a different system as being monstrous, horrible, barbaric savages that will attack you. Unnamed, okay. Hey, Mr. Vicar. Do you ever get a little bit homesick for Edgewater? For that ocean stink? No, I do not. You're supposed to say yes and go on to explain why. I just want to have a conversation. <laughs> of course you do. He does not want to have a conversation, ever, Parvati. You should probably spend your efforts on me, honestly. Welcome to the Lost Hope, our little tribute to the mystery. Yeah, weird lack of discussion of that. I'm surprised I couldn't talk to her about the part, part where this place is named the Lost Hope. Colonials are always itching for a fight. Because that's what I was looking to talk about. We kind of skipped right past that, didn't we? Is where they keep their trash and they cube it. I get through there. I need some better hacking. Did I like miss the dialogue? This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Spacer's Choice calls rumor of a Saltuna shortage patently baseless. The Edgewater Cannon Facility is operating at full capacity and will be delivering the gourmet saltuna fillets and other fish-based fine products that valued employees crave. Spacer's Choice representatives would like to assure everyone that they are committed to people, factual advertising, and automation. 
This has been Halcyon News, your only source for news in the Halcyon Colony. Factual advertising. Nobody's ever gotten much of any work with advertising via just being factual. That's why almost every food product is specifically built around like how it's going to make you come if you eat it. And uh, you, please use our products if you want to be a real man. A new face. What's your pleasure, stranger? A new face. We've talked already. Oh, we literally can't bring up the name of this place. You'd think there'd be some dialogue about that. Not necessarily in my best interest to actively give away what... Oh. They're definitely going to see me. <laughs> Not necessarily in my best interest uh, to actively out myself everywhere I go about that stuff, but just like, I don't know, I could mine it for some narrative irony to be like having them tell the legend, the legend of the ship and so on. But I guess we kind of already discussed that with other people, but this place is named after it. And that's just it. Oh, well.